let your mind to settle down from where it's been traveling all morning. Give it a place to gather all your thinking, all your awareness. Try to bring it into one area, right here with the breath. Because if you want to know the mind, you have to bring all of its activities to bear on one thing. Then you can watch them all. They're there together. It's like getting to know a family. The best time to know a family is when they're all sitting down together at a meal. And then you can see which members of the family are trustworthy, which ones are not, which ones need strengthening, which ones need to be kept in check. Because everybody's right here. When the mind is scattered all over the place, it doesn't know itself. Because things are happening over here, things are happening in the other corner of the universe. There's very little connection. And the mind becomes a mystery to itself. As the Buddha said, we suffer because of our ignorance. We all want happiness, and we act on the desire for happiness. But there's so much ignorance going on in the mind that we end up creating a lot of suffering. So we have to learn how to put an end to that ignorance by gathering everybody together. So we can keep tabs on what everybody's doing, your intentions, your at acts of attention. All the various things that the mind is doing. You want everybody to be watching everybody else. Because that's when the well-being of the whole begins to take take precedence. Otherwise, each person is going off doing his or her own thing. But when everybody's together, you can keep an eye on one another and point out, okay, you're doing this, and you haven't th thought about the consequences. You're doing that, you haven't thought about the consequences. When the mind is tired of all that kind of work, you can gather together and just rest together. So the mind can gain strength. Because the mind needs strength to go through life. When we signed on, when we got born, we didn't realize that aging was going to come, illness was going to come, death is going to come at some point. And we figure, well, I'll deal with that when it comes. But you've got to prepare. Because there are ways of preparing. There are ways of training the mind so that it doesn't create unnecessary suffering for itself, which means that the suffering that comes over aging, illness, and death will also be unnecessary when you really learn how to master the ways of the mind. There may be physical pain, but there doesn't have to be pain in the mind. That's what we're working for. So to make sure we don't have any of that suffering, we have to be alert to what we're doing all the time. That's why we bring everything together. So everybody can watch everybody else inside the mind. And that way you know what's going on. And when you act, you act on the desire for happiness, but it's done with knowledge, with skill. And that's how you get the results you want.